<clears throat> Welcome back to another episode of No Regrets Podcast, episode number 54. And you know, I'm your host, DW, aka Darius. I got my member back with me. You want to introduce yourself? What's going on, Tribe Stories? At Tribe Stories. Tom, what's popping? Tribe Stories on Discord, if you haven't known. Wait, that's you, right? Yes, sir. All right. On Discord, if you haven't joined the Discord, join it now. Where all the links will be in the socials. Follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. Follow us on Instagram got at No Regulars Podcast. We're almost at two hundred thousand. We've been at we've been stuck at one ninety nine point three for like two weeks. I think TikTok it's changed up. This, one. I know it's gonna it's be the one. one. Don't it's worry. Be I've been one. saying that all week. This is I got we got a good show for you. I think TikTok changed like his algorithm or some shit. So I gotta you know start from scratch. But it's all good. They on bull. It you don't know, matter. It'd mm-hmm. be like that. You know we just. We live off that. Tick, uh, Instagram, we're almost at 600 followers. Oh, thank you guys for whoever cops some merch. Merch will be sent out in probably a week or two. I just sent the order in. So remember, it's all pre-orders, people. So just give it some time. New collection coming soon, probably around Halloween. I got some new shirts coming. I think I got a couple previews. Did you see the new shirt? Yeah, I've yeah. seen the previews. Of, uh, I just I got it for everybody. Like, you know, we'll, oh, actually, I was wondering. Yeah. I see the one. I think it was a KP's. I need, I need. Yeah. No, it was, it was me and Jay. Oh, I need. The, if you got ours on there. Oh, no, I, I got yours. Don't worry. I just got yours made. I think that's like my second favorite one. Yeah, bro. It's I'm good here. to go. It's good to go. Here. I think I might do some trucker hats and like some tote bags too. If, if you put me on a trucker hat, I get five. <laughs> I promise you, I get five. <laughs> put him on a trucker hat. You put the little avatar. You put me a cheesy avatar. Like a hat. Nah, I, 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 I got ten. you on a shirt, though. I got you on a shirt. I need it. That with, shirt the, with the Nigeria. I, <laughs> that shit could be fire. So, um, what else? Oh, follow us on all podcasts and platforms on No Regulars Podcast on Google Podcast, Spotify, and um, Apple Podcasts. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe. This is the No Regulars Podcast where we talk about the most random shit, scary shit, rant. Nah, not really scary. It's mostly just random shit and some controversial stuff that might get us canceled one day. If you're not getting canceled, you're not. My fault. My fault. You're not doing it right. Strike that from the record. But some good news. We finally we got a sponsor. You know that, right? This episode is sponsored by Nah. It's not Lipton Tea. Imagine we got Lipton Tea. Some big bucks. Nah, but I don't have it with me yet. But we have a shout out to my sponsors. We're gonna talk about it next podcast. It's a. Uh, I'll, I'll probably talk to you about it afterwards. It's some. It's a good investment. I ain't gonna lie. We out here. We out here. We yeah. we we going there slowly, day up, by day. Up and up. Only up. But I just want. What are we gonna talk about? Let's, let's let's talk about how life's going. How's life going? Treating you, bro. Life, life, in, bro. It's life, in, man. It's life. I'm just, I'm just working. Everybody, I got a reminder today at my little cousin's barbecue how old I am. Everybody oh, yeah. calling, bro. People call me uncle. I was blown, bro. They call you uncle, bro. Like unk? Bro, they say uncle. Uncle, tell me. I'm like, oh, <laughs> son, dudes. Is, what I see a kid that Norm was just he was down here, picked him up and everything, named after me. Up here now, I say, yo, what the? Heck? Oh no, nah, that's like my biggest. Like, I, like I don't like that. Son, <laughs> like, oh, it really blows, man. Like I seen him, I was like, I jumped back. I like, bruh, oh my gosh, I feel like them aunties back in the day. Like, oh, you're so big now. I can't even say that. I can't even bring myself <laughs> to say it. I can't, bro. Like, I like especially when I seen kids. Like, I remember my friend's little brother. We used to play AU with him. He was really short. And then I, he's like six four, six five now. So I can't even walk past him no more. Like, damn, you outgrew me. This this little hate in my heart. Mad. Bro. I promise you. Me too. These kids go, what? Like, Ebenezer? Oh my God, nah. That, that used to hurt me. Bro. I got hate. I got hate. <laughs> yeah, he was Ebenezer. shorter than me. Now Ebenezer. he's six foot thousand. He's like six five, bro. Huge. I don't even know how, uh, bro. Freaking. You you still working in New York and stuff? Yes, sir. Oh, that's yes, good, sir. bro. Yes, you, sir. Did I tell you I'm getting my master's? Hey, that's lit. I want to yeah. go get mine next year. I'm getting, I'm a grad assistant for... For at Rutgers, so they're paying for my master's program. That's smart. You see, that's the thing. You see, you, you gotta work, grad, people, bro. you gotta you gotta what? be smart. Work smarter, not harder. You know what I'm saying? You, bro. You Free education. There. Free. The sponsor, they cover you. Yeah. Bro. Even though the work, so that's why I was working the soccer game. So that's like my job, basically. Oh no, that's fine. So they're working paying, on the game. They're paying. They're school. paying. They're paying. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm doing uh human resources though. Human resource management. Yeah, I know, bro. No, bro, y'all need to too, know. Man. Yo, tap Lord, in, bro. That's tap where in. Where the bag tap is, in, bro. People you tap need in. to be knowing, bro. But yeah, so life is life has been life in clothing brand. Clothing brand just dropped. Podcast still doing well. School, all that shit. Birthday coming up in a couple weeks. Yo, tuning in. I don't even know what we doing. Don't even yeah, know what yeah. we doing. Nah, I have no, y'all gonna hit in the group chat. Now. I know it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be last minute. So like, I'm just pull up. All right, hey everybody. <laughs> Straight but, off work, but. I, I want to talk about what the you you you've been realizing what's going on in the world lately, bro. 
In what sense? In the sense of like the environment. Oh, God. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Like you heard what happened in China, bro. What happened in China? Like you know, there's, they've been going. It's like going on eighty days of straight like heat waves. I think I probably should know about that, bro. Yeah. Like when I tell you it was bad, like niggas is living under like in caves because it's too hot. Like they die in the heat strokes. Niggas living on the on the rivers. And yo, bro, I don't even get. It's even. It gets even worse. So in Pakistan, like miles away, a couple miles away, they're all flood. It's all flooded. I seen that. I like guess like eighty percent underwater or some I, shit like that. I'm like. So nobody talk, and then and then in like Czech Czech Republic, some weird shit. I guess there's a drought in Europe, or something like that. I guess freaking and there's like a there was a river, and I guess the river level went to a point where there's like a a writing under it, and it says like if water ever went past this level, then it's like it's like doom type shit. Because like the last time somebody put it there was like during like the famine, so it's like if it ever got there, something bad is gonna happen, and it, they it uncovered it. So I'm like. All right, nobody's talking about this shit. And then, that's not the scariest thing I heard, bro. I got to stop watching TikTok sometimes because TikTok, <laughs> TikTok, you, TikTok be messing with my brain. There's a there's a glacier either in the North Pole or in Alaska that's the size of Florida. Just imagine the size of Florida, a piece of ice, and it's on like the verge of breaking off from like the main part. And if it falls over, the, the sea level is going to rise by 10 feet. So that's they said that's equivalent to like you ever, remember that movie we used to watch Day After Tomorrow in high school? Yeah. It's like that. Like equivalent to that. Like remember the big ass tsunami that came through the city? That's how it's going to be. Like on the coastlines. So people, I'm not saying the end of the world may be near, but I remember I used to watch, I, I used to see something on TikTok of this uh, scientist dude. He he um handcuffed himself to like a to one of the banks in New York City talking about like, yo, the, the earth is dying. And he's like, nobody believe in him. I don't know what's going on now though. It's a bunch of people doing that. A bunch of protesters chaining themselves like, yo, y'all are messing up shit. They're pr- protesting. They're chaining themselves to like uh, field goals and like basketball yeah. stances. Oh, Every, yeah, that bro, shit. And people are over here, ah, get them out of here. We're trying to be entertained. They trying to warn you. Listen, I'm not even. Hey, bro, if it's my time to go, what am I going to do? Hey, I'm going to try my hardest. Nah. Like, <laughs> like, oh, you're not going to try? God not going to hold me accountable. It's not my fault. <laughs> That's what These I'm saying. These big corporations and their emissions, it's not my fault. Hey, it's bro. what you do. But hey, listen, I I try to be the most earth friendly that I can. Oh yeah, I recycle. You know, I'm, I never I try not to let it. You, you know, feel what I'm saying? me reduce your carbon footprint. But if y'all want to keep messing up, there, go ahead. Hey, you know, bro. I, global warming's a thing. People said global warming was a myth. That was crazy. <laughs> global warming like, is a myth, bro. All Al Gore wanted to do was save the earth. <laughs> and these dudes, like they were like the like the parents from Coach Carter. They said, "Have you lost your damn mind?" All he wanted was the bare minimum. They said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa." So I'm telling you, it's it's too it's gonna be too late very soon if it's not already. And then like they said that glacier was supposed to is gonna might break off in the next five years. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like uh, at hey, this bro. point, it's like I can't control it. Yeah, I can't I do what I, I can. I got I gotta do the yeah. best I can to if y'all, control it, bro. If y'all wanna fumble the bag for everybody else, that's on you. I did what I could. Sorry, I did folks. what I could, bro. And then they was talking about you, you in uh, Illinois, bro. You know they they lifted up some, they changed their laws up in Illinois. For what? Like it's like the purge, low key, bro. For what? So it's like, so like you know, there's di- so it's what's it called? So there's no cash bail for like almost every offense now. So like what that means is like, say you kidnap somebody or second degree murder, they're just gonna book you, go to court, and then they set you free. I swear, bro. I seen a video. Of a guy that's like, and it was a, it was one of the police chiefs, and he was like, he was like, all right, everybody, this is this is just a fair warning on ju- on January first, two thousand twenty three, all these rules are gonna be commenced. So like, there's no jail bond, there's no bond for anything, any most crimes. So you could really kidnap somebody, get booked, go to jail, and you just come back out. So I'm like, what? Like I don't know if that's fake. If it's a, f- it looks pretty real though. Like it was like a whole police chief. It was like a press conference. I hope it's not real because Illinois. Chicago. Chicago, oh my God! Imagine Chicago. They gonna have to move the Bulls. <laughs> they gonna have to move the Bulls and the Bears. Oh my God, the White Sox. bro! The Chicago is gonna be like the number one fucking what's it called? Murder shit in the whole world, bro. Just imagine, like who's making these decisions, bro? Uh, people that are not informed. People that are out of touch. <sighs> Speaking bro. of which, people making decisions. I might be controversial here. I guess I'm ageist. Old people. 
Fuck them. Bro, <laughs> Wait, what? there should be no people over the age of 60 in government. I'm sorry. Mm. You're just too stoic. You're stuck in your ways and you think about the old times. Mm. Like, if you remember Bill Clinton's presidency, you're getting to the age where, like, you know, you, right. we know we don't know bro, if you can trust you right now, bro. We're like, if you were if you were like an adult, what I'm let me if you remember, if you were an adult for Bill Clinton's presidency, <laughs> what was that like the 80s, the, bro? I don't I don't even remember. Bill Clinton. It was like 80s. the 80s, 90s, late 80s, like, early 90s. I don't know, but if you were an adult for that, you're getting to that age where you, hmm. like if any, you remember Jimmy Carter's presidency, that's you should crazy. not be in office. You need to be. How out. does Joe Biden? He he pushing 80, right? Too old. He's pushing 80. I think so. he even he's not an 80 already. Trump and all these all these old dudes, get them out. You got to be, I think your age terms for being in a public elected elected office should be from like 24 to about 50. That's fine. That's, you, that's, get that's out, you have a whole career, find something else to do after 50. I don't know. If you don't make enough money from being a politician, which you do, green <laughs> bastards, but if you don't, get another job. I'm sorry. Deliver some DoorDash. Bro, you should not be <laughs> drive some Ubers. You shouldn't be running off. You shouldn't be making decisions for a country based on this. Oh, they have wisdom. Okay, so does everybody else. Get these dudes out of here. They seem I'm the saying, most. Bro. Okay, and let them see it from the rocking chair. Don't let these old <laughs> dudes and old women run the country no more. No more of that. That's why y'all so stuck. We so stuck in our damn ways. You get all these dumb uh, decisions that the youth don't support and the youth don't come out to vote because all these old dudes, they're out of touch and they don't know what's going on. Hey, that's facts, bro. Like, like the freak. I mean, yeah, no, that's true. I don't think, I think old people, it's just like, because I don't think they can keep up with how everything's moving so fast, you know? And they're just trying to, they be trying to go backwards and things because they don't, that's, they don't think that's how it's supposed to be right. No, they all stuck in their way. They were growing up the, the good old time. Motherfucker, the, the future is now. We in 2022. You talk know, about right? the 60s. Shut up. Bro, nobody give a damn, bro. Freaking. Look. And the queen just died, bro. The memes was crazy. <laughs> the memes was crazy. I plead the fifth. <laughs> I can't even talk about the memes. Nope. They're going to get me out of here. I don't gonna, wanna... If there's one thing they're going to cancel me for this week is my views on the queen. <laughs> Let her soul rest in peace. I don't wish death upon anybody, but that is unfortunate. That's all I have to say on hey, the matter. Bro. It's unfortunate, and I uh, hope her... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> Who is it? William now, right? Hey. No, no, no. Andrew? Her hey. son? The... And I don't, I, don't, I have my own choice <laughs> feelings about the royal family, but uh, big up my Irishmen and women, big up my Scots, big up my my Africans, all the people that were. <laughs> you feel me? Under, I'm not gonna get into it, but uh, you know, you know why I'm bigging y'all up. You feel me? My Caribbeans. You f- hey, bro, we ain't saying, gonna talk too much. Not we ain't too gonna much. Talk no, too no much. long talk, but uh, that's tough. That's all you can say. It's tough. <laughs> that's rough. That's rough. And she had a long life. I mean, 96. I mean, what was it? 96, 96. That's yeah. A, she was running. She was in rain for what? 70 you, years? Yeah, bro. Just since imagine. her 20s, bro. She was there. Just she was there. Bro, that old dude, Andrew, had to wait. <laughs> what was it? Was it 70 something years for, for, a job, for a job? <laughs> for a job? For a job, bro. Matt. What happened to the other one? They 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 disowned him? I don't know. Or like he a, disowned he's, himself. He's, he's the other one, Harry. It's two of them, and one of them's there's the kids of uh, I think the kids of uh, Andrew the, of the King now, and like he left because no long talk, but uh, things weren't ideal for uh, you feel me? They they had a certain way of running things over there, and he wasn't really jacking it, especially with his wife. And uh, <laughs> I, I'm just saying, he was had, uh, no long talk on the matter. Don't want to get I love the I love my my big up my Brits, you feel me? But uh, I don't want to. We can't talk too much. It just uh it's quite unfortunate the circumstances. Yeah. But uh the game is the game, you know, we all gonna we go. He gotta play, bro. I'm he's gotta, you. He just gotta play it. That's why you yeah. But all right, I got a question. Yep. So since we're talking about the end of world type shit. Uh, so I was watch I think I was watching a movie about zombies the other day and it got me thinking. So like say the world so say zombies will ever populate the earth. Okay. What kind of zombies do you think it would be? Like out of all the movies and other shits they know about as long as that shit not no World War Z zombies, yeah, I think no, I'm no, cool that's, that's Max. I think it'd be... I need Walking Dead zombies. Yeah, I think it'd be like either Walking Dead or COD zombies. Like something like they're walking, they don't, they're not fully sent. Not nah, COD zombies, they're ro- crazy. They're rotted away, some of them are running, some of them are moving, some of them... Eh, not COD. I mean like bro, Walking Dead zombies. Bro, like, if the Call of Duty zombies was in real life, I think the, the, the rift, world is over, yeah, bro. No, I ain't gonna lie. Deep, I don't think we can fight that. It is deep. It is deep. They got the big motherfuckers. Bro... 
like I was thinking like if we really had World War Z zombies, I think the world would be like it'll be done. Like it's like oh, I don't yeah. think we're gonna stop that shit. I seen a TikTok. I forget. Shout out whoever made it. They said uh, which kind of zombie they were making tears out of like which zombies they're watching shows and anime. Yeah. Like which zombies uh, you'd uh, you'd have a chance of surviving. Mm -hmm. And they said World War Z is up. Yeah, they said, bro, it's like it's up, bro. Like the niggas was really just out here sprinting, like. 40 yard dash times just to and bite she, niggas. She said that there was this the same girl. She said that there's a one that's like the top tier that she said, like, you were not made, it was not made for you to survive. This <laughs> is like an anime, like, the sun comes out. If the sunlight touches you, you use the sun, zombie. The sun? And since the sun reflects the moon or the moon reflects the sun below, that's moonlight. Zombie, <laughs> what, bro? What anime was this? I, I, I gotta find it or the video, but yo, zombie, just straight zombie. Like <laughs> you can't go out. Like, you can't, really get can't go outside, bro, your, bro, Outside bro, the crib, bro. you gotta stay in the dark the whole your whole life. And then what if like what's stopping the zombies from coming into where you are? Easy pickings. That's you what I'm saying. Move. You can't move. You can't leave from where you are. Man, also okay. If it was I am Legend zombies. That's a diff. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think, like, I think if it was Walking Dead zombies, it would be like some type of shit. Like, it would be like, it will be like COVID, low key. Yeah. Like, schools would be shut down. We'll have to go in quarantine for like a good year. But I feel yeah, like we'll get used to that. Yeah, I feel like we'll either, either kill them all off or we'll just like section them in an area where you can't, you just can't go to that side. Exactly. And that'd be, that'd be manageable. That's I not mean, too yeah, bad. It's not too bad. I am it's legend. You can't go outside. You can't go outside at nighttime. I feel, I feel, like, and they're kind of strong too. They is kind of big. And they didn't they affect like animals? Bro, I will take all of that over iRobot. Oh, iRobot? Oh take yeah, all that yeah. Over iRobot. Bro, iRobot. iRobot. That was one of the freakiest movies I ever seen as a kid. That rim robots like when they turn evil and do start, they started tweaking. I literally got scared at because they just. I said, "What the hell?" Just instantly, and they everywhere, bro. Because no way. There's just no way. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. No I think. The robot apocalypse, I feel like we're on the verge. We're getting it up there in, in uh, maybe a thousand years. When niggas, it with, but I feel like if we get if we have robots, we're just going to become like lazy as fuck. Like Wally. Like we were talking about before. Like we all just going to get lazy. Just imagine. Are we not already there? Uh, I feel like there's a, there might be another level of laziness. If we just had another, I mean, just we got drones. We have people that deliver us food. Oh yeah, there moving. is. There is. We have, we mm. got Ubers. We don't got to get up and walk nowhere. You take an Uber, a Lyft, or and the trains and X Y Z. You don't. We don't really have to. And then you have you got little, VR headsets. Yeah, yeah. You have little robots or machines that help you do like work, like vacuum a house, or even lawnmowers aren't as difficult. We got yeah. riding lawnmowers like. It's starting. We're to get starting there. to get there already. I just hope. But, we, I hope we don't get there, bro. I hey. Hope. They get there. It's not my problem. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. Dang, that's tough. My my great grandkids, that's tough. Son, hey, Magic Johnson, I'm not going to be here. <laughs> nah. fault, I'm not going to be here. Nah, bro. <laughs> not my problem. Nah, the, nah, the Magic Johnson meme that had me crying was when he was taking blood. It was like, who's. <laughs> Yo, that like, is the, the mosquito. <laughs> so they said mosquito bit Magic Johnson. He said <coughs> the Idris elbow. Yo, yo, what the fuck, <laughs> bro? They said whose blood are you giving? They was like, hold up, stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> whose blood are you? Who, whose blood are you giving Magic Johnson's blood to? Like, so, you, like who are you giving the Magic Johnson blood to? You cannot get that man's that blood to nobody. Madness. Nah, that shit was going crazy because he had to tweet back saying that I bro, did not said, donate no son, blood. I see that he said I can't believe I have to clear this up, but I did not donate blood. I said. <laughs> Yo, imagine Johnson that was donated a good blood. One. Somebody photoshopped the fuck out that picture. That's that was a good one. Madness. That was I was crying. Oh my god. That was a good one. That was imagine. A good one. Like yeah. Oh, thank you. I need this blood for transfusion. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You got from Magic Johnson. But you got a guy from a real, a real uh, big celebrity. He was a real nice guy. Yeah, he smiled all the time. Yeah, he played for the Lakers <laughs> in the eighties. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oh my god, bro! I love memes, bro. I'm telling you, I love bro. memes. Top but, tier. But I got another question to add on with the zombie. So, say you could pick one animal to be your companion, and he's always loyal to, you, and he'll protect you in a zombie apocalypse. What animal would it be? Any animal in the world. <sighs> Either grizzly bear, a tiger. Or a 
wolf just for the means of if I get too tired, absolutely transportation for some for a little bit at least they can carry me yeah. on the back of the saddle blah 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 they can also fight all three of them mm-hmm. and uh, if they're loyal to me well they're loud enough animals that like hey something's popping off in the middle of the night or we, you know, you gotta, we gotta box we gotta go yeah <laughs> the, the, the growl whatever I'm up I'm up here <laughs> so I feel like it's uh, that's those are, I feel like those are good good choice I, think was, I was gonna pick a grizzly bear I, I was thinking about that cause like I was watching I was watching a video of like all these people like um uh they like they like raised these animals when they were cubs and this one guy raised a grizzly bear this is like the grizzly bear is like like 800 pounds and he like treats him like a dog like he's, a, he's just like a big dog I'm like yo that thing turned on you but I'm like that'd be tough. Like in a zombie apocalypse, if you had like a big ass bear to protect you, like, Bro, like a pung, like not pung, a fucking um bug from open season. One swipe, swipe. you good. Good night. I think I think I'm I, I'm either gonna take a grizzly bear, uh, or a how about nah an elephant too damn big though. I take that back. I switch the wolf for a hippo. A hippo, damn, but hippo are hippos mobile though? I mean, yeah, they do run kind of fast. Hippos are one of the fastest animals, and they Ooh. in air and in what well, on land, land and in water, one of the fastest. And you think Damn, they're I fat know. underneath them? It's just literally you think it's fat. It's all of it is muscle, like big ass strong muscle. It's just muscle, and they have one of the strongest bites. Like period, hmm. it's it's deep. It's so deep, and they're heavy as hell, and they're nah. Hippos got it. They said hippo hippos kill the most humans. But don't yearly. they be by accident or they actually just really be killing them, I guess? Hippo will put you on a t shirt for no good reason. I know it would. Oh. It's not by accident. Just hippo do you, me. they see you and they gonna do you. Look up a, a video hippos, look up a good, video man. of runaway uh, 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 uh escaping just people escaping hippo hippos? attacks or you're in a boat, you see a hippo. You will see it. Say like we're looking at one end of the football field. We're that in one shit. end zone. You look, turn around. You're on the boat. You look. Oh, there's a hippo back there. Ha! Ah. That shit. Right. Turn around. Right up there. Yo! <laughs> because what was it? I think I seen the video. Either it was. A, I don't know if it's a lie or not. If it was true or not. But they say hippos move so fast because they they go underwater. Mm-hmm. They run on the <laughs> ground and then they pop. I think that's what it was. Mm-hmm. If it's not the swimming, but I think somewhere they said some. If the water is not too deep or whatever, yeah. So the hippos go underwater. Dang, that's deep. T- and even you know you know Pablo Escobar had like hippo was it Pablo Escobar yeah Pablo Escobar he brought hippos to like Colombia to feed people to the hippos and now there's hippos all over the freaking jungle that man <laughs> hippos that's a good choice I ain't gonna lie the evil lass he said y'all gonna remember me <laughs> <laughs> just imagine bro alright I think yeah I think hippos good nah I think I'm still going to bear just cause oh yeah, you know, yeah, th- yeah that one swipe is crazy a big ass grizzly bear shit you know, there's freaking like, like I was watching a Joe Rogan podcast. There's, there's um chimps in the Congo. There's like a specific chip in a, in a specific jungle in the Congo that's like six feet tall, like the size of humans, and they could kill. They kill like no, no, lions. not the size of humans. Because yeah. the average human like five, five, oh no, ten, the five, size of, oh bigger than bigger than human. Just imagine, and they're normally six feet just walking around. It's like they're a mix of an ape and a chimp, but they're like bigger. And they be fighting like lions and shit. I'm like, I, I was thinking, about, I'm like, wait, like I'm, I'm thinking like a chimp normally six foot, like it's, a, it's like the Planet of the Apes type shit, like shit like that, bro. Like imagine, bro, a, like imagine a nigga upright just walking like this, and he sees a lion just beats his ass. That's scary. <laughs> you telling me all those colonizers came to Africa and they couldn't run into those monkeys first? I think they didn't. They just didn't mess with them no they more. They probably fought those, back. They couldn't run into those chimps and then just just beat them niggas ass and leave the good people alone, bro. Like they, I think they killed one because it was by the uh, by an airport or some shit, and they took a picture next to it. It was two little dudes. That thing was like way bigger than it, and like you know, chimps is not that big. They like maybe like like four feet tall. That shit was huge, bro. Like it shit like a like a orangutan. Like, <laughs> I don't, bro, there's some shit in this world that we don't even know about people. So don't even think that. <laughs> like, a monkey that big, bro. You can't put that shit in the zoo. That shit gonna fight back. <laughs> that shit gonna fight back. Uh, shout I out gotta Joe go Rogan, interview bro. those monkeys because I gotta see, yo, what was y'all doing when the colonizers came? How come y'all couldn't help those humans out, bro? What's going oh, on, bro? <laughs> what was, what, y'all, not, y'all, not, y'all not banging with us? What's good? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like, damn, you couldn't help us bro, out. Type shit. Bro, like, y'all big as hell. Y'all should have been like, bro, we could have just teamed up real quick, like, bro. You, like, you got them freaking lions that was killing bro. them people making that bridge in Africa. You heard about that shit? There was like, there was two lions. There was, I think they was making like a bridge in Africa. And there was two lions that would like every night would go hunt the people that was making the bridge until they killed them off. They Them two lions by themselves killed like 30 people. Merkin niggas, bro. Like 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 that movie with Idris Elba and that shit type shit. No, they they the bad boys. They the bad boys. They was, going crazy. <laughs> they was like, you ain't going through my jungle, bro. Oh God, you ain't touching my jungle. <laughs> That's what niggas are nah, saying. Two, like imagine you trying to go into the jungle, you see two lions. Just, hey, <laughs> oh, I would have. Hey, my fault, big bro. <laughs> nah, the- imagine you see one and another nigga just sneak tack you. Like they they tactical with it, bro. <laughs> if I if I see one, if, if I see a distraction, I back up a vibe pipe. I just go fall. I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> like son, like, like this. I'm just doing my job, bro. I'm bro. Like, yo, like this, bro. I'm trying uh, to get paid. I gotta fight lions every day. After one guy died, I would have been done. I promise. I'd been like, yo, yeah, two lions attack. <laughs> two? <laughs> two? What did he do? <laughs> yeah, he tried to cross the bridge, but uh, we got a shift. <laughs> Where we uh nah. nah bro I'm done here my dude. hey my badge take, take I all catch y'all bro. bro ain't no Work, way yo this is my two weeks two weeks notice bro I'm done dangerous Fuck jobs that, it's just not bro. worth it to me hell man. no but all right so now I got another thing we can survive can we survive these natural disasters what do you mean so I got a list of natural disasters I got like four things and we're okay. gonna see if we can just survive or not by survive I mean say it happens right now okay. Can we either stay here and live or try to find a way out? So the first one is it's a tornado. So when we say we, me, me and you, yeah. or the group? Just me and you. Okay. Could we survive? Could we survive a, a tornado. tornado? How the hell do Where's you... the tornado going? Like what's the is it like going that, that... straight through like just for the height <laughs> the, it's just going straight through our neighborhood, like through <laughs> that our houses? Shit, that shit or is coming right here, that right shit now. Right by Keen, bro. <laughs> just on the way. I reckon we have time. Like, <laughs> like I understand <laughs> if it's a tornado right at Keen. <laughs> I think. I think. I, th- I think. You see the words. <laughs> I. I think we have. If we like, you don't understand. We must like <laughs> as soon as we get the pod over. Drop everything. Gone. Sprint. <laughs> I think that we can just barely make it if we. Oh, are we do we are we driving away? Are we st- like well, we gotta drive? You away? are flooring, <laughs> and that's in the like that's under the assumption that nobody else knows. So there's no traffic. Nobody yeah. else knows lim- limited traffic because if other people know, it's deep. Oh, yeah, but no, and yeah. The, but I think if we absolutely drop everything as soon as we find out, boom, we're out, we're gone. I think we can just make it. Just make it. I out? think if we you just floor it and we're gone, I think we could just make it. Because like you ever seen the videos of tornadoes like ripping through like Kansas, bro? Bro, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. That shit's. You come crazy. back, just know that. And just know that. I hope you had everything insurance because oh, no, right? everything will it's be gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> you need everything insurance for that. Everything would be gone, yep. bro. Ain't no way. Oh my god. All right, this one I don't know. A tsunami. Say tsunami's coming by. It's, it's right by Jersey City. Jersey City, I think. Oh, wait, no, no, not Jersey. The port, There's a port in Elizabeth. So oh, yeah, it's no, going no. that way. Wait, coming from Elizabeth, coming here. How fast do tsunamis travel? Say it's like a tsunami type. Not like the one that went over Japan. Maybe a little smaller than that. I need to know how fast. Just really quickly, how fast. <laughs> oh, go crazy, how, how fast. I didn't need to. We need to know. <laughs> the people need to know, bro. How fast do tsunamis travel? In the deep ocean, a tsunami can move as fast as a jet plane over 500 miles per hour. <laughs> and his wavelength, the distance from the crest to crest, maybe hundreds of miles. Um, they said the tsunami is just about as fast. Well, in the, that's in the deep ocean, but when it gets on air, I mean on land, that shit. Let's just say three hundred miles per. Nigga, what? And it's in Elizabeth. Nah, no, it's over. It's deed. I, yeah, I, I no don't think if we like, what if you had scuba gear? <laughs> it's not. And I just seen a video on this too. It was a, a scientist dude on on TikTok. He said somebody said, "Yo." He's been making a joke, obviously. He said, yeah, uh, you know, the it's too easy, memes. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. He said, the dude, when he grabs his scuba gear, gets to the bottom of a pool when the tsunami comes over and survives. He said that if you get scuba gear or whatever, you're in the pool, you're limited. He said if the debris, because the debris. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's so fast. Like, the debris smacks into you in the wave. If the wave itself doesn't kill you on velo- from on, the velocity. Yeah, on Debris impact. hitting you. Like, <sighs> imagine. Trees. A house. <laughs> <laughs> 300 miles an hour, a house, oh boom, while God. you're in the tsunami. Like, and then 
even if you hide like in a pool, he said like the wave, you don't automatically just, you're going to, the wave's going to come over. You're just going to fly into the nearest wall. Boom. You're done. Disintegrated. Damn. So it's D'd up for us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tsunami is done. Yeah. Not a single chance. All Especially right. if it's in Elizabeth. 300 <laughs> miles an hour. You got. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oh God! All right, how about how about an earthquake, like a level six earthquake? Like that's the biggest one. Because oh wait wait wait, 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 wait. the big earth, the, like the, like big the biggest earthquake that like well, the magnitude, like which a, is the biggest, the biggest earthquake. Yeah. No, not a chance. Oh. Not a chance. Uh, you saw I what happened, survive. bro? Yeah, I know, I but like, to, and I know it'd be our group would be like, ah, you niggas, I, I'm gonna survive. All I gotta do is jump, right. like <laughs> jump son, in the air, bro. Like like. Understand like those huge ones, like the really big, the biggest earthquake. Not only can't you not get away because the literal ground is splitting Open. and everything is falling and breaking and crashing. If you don't get killed by, well, well TikTok. If oh, you yeah. don't get unalived hey, you by know, something, <laughs> by something that's on the, uh, the that's something on the ground, like the fear, the sheer shaking or something breaking. Like you're just gonna, it's just. You saw what happened the 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 earthquake in Haiti, yeah, bro. That was bad, and that wasn't even the biggest magnitude. I think that was the biggest they've ever had. That's the biggest they ever had. I don't think think it's the biggest magnitude. Bro, imagine. I don't think that, (laughs) dude. I don't. I don't think that that were. That's why I'm happy that we live in like this corner here because California they be having those earthquakes every now and then. I know we 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 just have what hurricanes, random floods. We get the tropical storms every now and then. We just get. We just get un. What's that? What's the word? Un. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna draw in a blank. What's the word? Un inaccurate. Not inaccurate. Fuck. Random. Random weather. Oh, 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 oh. Like it's like it's like one day, one day. Remember that one year inconsistent. Inconsistent. There yeah, you yeah. go. Like remember that one year it was like seventy five degrees on Christmas. I'm like, yo, I was wearing shorts on Bro, Christmas, and I'm over here thinking, <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the hell? And then we had a random snowstorm in like October that everybody was freaking stuck, bro. Bro, Niggas was driving on the freaking hot the sidewalks. I was having a. Last, I was up at school. They I were know you these, was chilling. They were, in Penn State, snow, bro. Bro, they were getting these snowstorms. I'm over here sitting there, like, oh, class is canceled. I'm like, all right, man, Nigga, I, was, I was stuck in the freaking dorm. I was, I was stuck at school, bro. I said, I'm going back to sleep. I'm going, what I was supposed to do, bro. I'm all right, cool. <laughs> freaking, we got that all that rain and a big ass flood. Freaking Fritz had to walk home. It was like swimming, bro. <laughs> Nigga, Fritz, Fritz was like, swimming, and he had to be in jeans. No, so he Fritz was swimming he was in de- jeans. It's crazy. Jeans and Concords. Damn, not the Concords. <laughs> Fritz swimming in jeans is just hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> swimming in jeans, nah, crazy. Jean and jeans. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the, all right. So, and the last one is a erupting volcano. How so, far is the volcano? Uh we'll say the volcano. All right, we'll give. We'll put some distance between us. We'll put like a. We'll say that shit's in Springfield. Like, uh, not the border of Springfield. That's where Springfield High School is. How fast is the lava moving? Like, is it moving, like, slow? Or is it moving, like, is it moving? It's just, like, say it just or, erupted like, right. right now. Like, you just hear the, the ground, see, just, the sun all over the sky. Got dark, dark clouds. I think that's what would low-key be the end of us. That, the, oh, yeah. All the no, sun no, coming all the, Yeah, no, no, no. Everything would die. The plants and everything would die. You, you can't breathe. You can't but even breathe during that shit. If just like with pure ju- lava, just like with the, with the um, the tornado. Yeah. If we find like, and I'm saying like, <laughs> like, if like I don't even know how to explain how fast. Like, oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> if we find like literally the absolute nanosecond, hey, the, gone. That's literally if it was just. <laughs> Out of here, I think we can just make it. I think we can too. You just, just there's just d- no like as understand as- that nothing. We're not taking a damn thing. Just got not, a, not even a dog. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta go right now. I think we can make. But what it, if bro. like that shit like shooting that debris and shit? Hella rocks. Good night. <laughs> With our luck, we gonna be the one that gets. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Oh my absolutely. god, absolutely. And that's even like what. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And we're just gonna stop. Wait, I gotta warn the members. Like it's gonna be D. It's gonna be D. We have to leave. We gotta leave. This is the podcast where we are the survival experts. Or we'll test the survival shit. So maybe if it happens, just 
do what we say. I'm just saying. <laughs> do what we say. If there's an earthquake, just jump. I'm just just jump. saying. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I got I got a would you rather question now. Uh, so would you rather get thrown into an underground maze, but the catch is you have 24 hours to escape, but if you don't escape, you're stuck in there for life. Or would you rather get thrown into the middle of the Pacific Ocean with nothing but a little raft and 30 days worth of food and water? What's the goal of the Pacific Ocean? Like, what's the... Uh, just, I gotta man, just chill or I just gotta... I gotta get out of there. Try to find your way out. In the middle of the Pacific. Like, in the middle, the middle of the Pacific. And like, the like straight where nothing, no land. What's nearest the... I say Pacific. I was, because with the Pacific, I can... Well, for the maze, unless I'm going to get delirious. Me, <laughs> the maze, I have 24 hours, right? So, yeah. 24 hours. I can go 24 hours without sleep. Yeah, yeah. Because I've done... That type of stuff before. If I go twenty four hours without sleep, I'm eventually gonna get to the point around like hour twenty where one not, I'm only not only anxious and nervous and frantic, yeah, stuck but I'm it. also tired. tired. But I can beat the tiredness. But I think I'm gonna expand so much more energy from being anxious. And, Yo, I gotta make it out of here. I'm done up. Mm -hmm. Pacific. You never put no. You never put no. <laughs> no time. Who says a Who says a cruise ship can't come by or some type of boat can't come by? I'm like hey, <laughs> like, hey everybody, bro. But then again, sharks and other animals. I know. Whales. In the middle of the Pacific. They be having the storms, bro. The freaking, the heat. There's no what, There's no cloud coverage. You're going to burn. But I think I'd rather do that one than bro, the maze. I don't know if I can get I out of the maze like make, that. Bro, because if I, you tell me, just got to get out the maze. All right, I can probably find my way out. But just putting the 24 hours is going to. just be, make it more anxious and it's shit. It's even worse. Even worse. And I'm a clutch dude. Trust me. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm clutch, but like. That's the rest of my life that I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about like what type, type shit, type shit. <laughs> Pacific, I'm just gonna bank on somebody coming hoping, across, yeah. hoping somebody freaking or sees a, you, yeah, or a helicopter or something. Just hey, please, but maze. Like the Pacific is is huge. I know. Like there's little islands in Pacific you can't even see. Like there's no land oh my God. around. And if it, I fuck around and accidentally float to like a. Uh, 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 island indigenous feet, island, yeah, bro. <laughs> like they put you on a t-shirt, bro. You know, they're going to be like, yeah, and we saw a helicopter image of some dude impaled by 17 spikes. And uh, don't go out there, folks. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, I ain't, son. But, like, you, you know, there was you know there was actually a guy that survived out at sea for 400-something days. So, I think he was, it was, a, he was from South America. So, it was him and his friend that, um, they went out to, they, they're like experienced fishermen. So, they went deep sea fishing. And I guess their, their, their engine ran out. And like they couldn't get back, and they the nigga like one of the boys they didn't um, charge the walkie-talkie, so they can't call in for help. And like it was a day where it was mad windy, so they just start. So they went. So at first they started out at like I think thirty miles out. They got in a couple hours. It was like three hundred miles out. And when I tell you, bro, like they said they was living off of, like they was fishing, and like they would live off of they will they'll find like water bottles in the ocean and like catch the raindrops and drink of the water. And then till eventually the the friend died of starvation. Like he just couldn't take it no more. He just I guess stopped eating and died. But nobody knows what happened to the friend's body. They don't know if the guy ate him or they don't know if he killed him. They don't know if he ate him. But when they found him, so 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 now he's by himself. And they said he seen a cargo ship and like he was trying to wave at him, like, help, help. And they just, just went right past him. And then until I forgot where he ended up, but then they found him and they was telling him like, oh, what happened to the guy? And he was just like saying like, cause like he didn't have the body with him. So maybe he just like threw him overboard, but they don't know if he either ate him, killed him. Cause like, you know, if you're out there by yourself, you might go crazy type shit. They don't know what happened. So when he got back to his country, the family of the guy that died sued that man that survived because they thought he ate him. Just imagine you went through all that stress. You surviving. I'm out here just trying for my life. I finally get back home, and now you're getting sued because you of murder, I mean, cannibalism. That you don't, they, you can't, you can't even prove yourself. Like you can't even prove. Did he say what happened? They can't. Prove they just that he killed them. That's either. what I'm saying. Did they say? Did he? He didn't have any explanation for what happened to the body. No, I think he just said he just died. He probably just said he they threw him overboard. But like, you can't find his body. He's in the middle of the ocean, so it's yeah, like they don't know where. What the fuck? So he really just came back to like some BS. <laughs> I've been pissed, bro. Like I'm out here surviving. It's like your husband was the one that didn't want to live no more. I kept going. Wait, wait, was her husband the one that uh that, that didn't died. charge the walkie talkies? 
Yeah. Oh, I would have beat all their ass, bro. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, yo, bum ass. Hey, bro, you the reason I'm out here. <laughs> Nigga ain't charged the walkie-talkie. You, know, you ain't put gas in the engine. You should have. We both, we both fucked up. But you fucked up more. Bro, ain't no way. Nigga like, forgot to charge the walkie-talkie. just imagine being that ass. Like, damn, the day you didn't charge the walkie-talkies is the day we got stuck out at sea. And that shit sounds so... Co- like, I feel like that shit happens a lot. Like, shit like that. Like, niggas get lost at sea. Like, and what are you going to do? Like, what you going to do? It can't do nothing. Like, oh, my God. He's just going to panic, bro. I would never do that deep, far out sea. I don't even like boats. <laughs> really? Not even cruise ships? I think a cruise ship lit. My ancestors tell me every <laughs> single time <laughs> there is no good that could come from getting on those boats. <laughs> nothing. They ain't let black people on the Titanic. Hey. Hey, man. There's a group of people that think that um, African Americans were actually the first like American, like Africans are the like the like the slaves weren't from Africa. They think they're from here first. Like they, like this is what they said. I, I was Joe Rogan podcast again. Of Shout course. out Joe Rogan, bro. But so this is nah, what this is gone. this is what <laughs> this is this is what his theory is. So say so he said in Africa, right? It was a bunch of there was a bunch of kings and queens, and they used to conquer a lot of land and stuff so they was really traveling they weren't just staying in africa so they traveled all around and they said i guess they settled off in like south america and eventually it's like you settle in south america like you're not gonna like go up a little bit or central america too you're not gonna climb up a little bit to the americas and it's like they said like during i think the black plague a lot of the people in europe would come to africa for like food and stuff like they would go talk to the kings like yo help us out like so they would come to africa but they were saying that free lotus. Yeah, basically. So they were saying that the Africans came to America first and then Christopher Columbus came and conquered the Africans and made them slaves. And they was actually the real Native Americans because I guess they said in Christopher Columbus's like journals, they said that they described the Native Americans as like with like black features. Like you know like the like you know normal shits. And they were saying like they had 13 colonies in that one area, but like the whole part of the other side wasn't like discovered yet, but they said that's where the Africans were. And they said like, also he was saying like, so when, um, they was bringing them over, there's like a lot of them, like, you know, most of them died coming here. So it's like, why would you rather bring them over here? If like, they're gonna, they're gonna die off anyways. So it's like, you might as well use these people here. That's what his whole thing was. I don't know. I think that's might be like a, like a little, I don't know. It might be a little stretch, but it it got a little bit of sense to it. Cause I see what the, I see the, the vision. That I see the vision. I see that he's like, hey, there was Africans in South America and Central America. Why wouldn't they just come Go up, up and through it? I'm like, okay, yeah. But also the indigenous people we know that were there in Central America, South America, and North America already. Some of them already have African features because Africans that were in the lower region, so they could be mixed, mm-hmm. possibly, and there could be... I just don't see how Africans at that point in Earth's history would leave and go... I mean... Eh. I mean, what if they was just conquering land like how Christopher Columbus was doing? And they just made it there first. I guess. But another crazy thing was they said the freaking... They they the Africans was here first and the the English and people conquered them and they switched them with the Native Americans. Like they switched the whole like history, saying it wasn't the Africans here, it was actually the Native Americans here. And they was just like covering up all that shit. Just so like they could like keep us down, like, nah, you guys is worthless type shit. But I'm like, that's a lot. That's that is really, really a huge You told me it was Africans out there playing lacrosse. <laughs> Hey, bro, that's a huge, that's some some crazy shit. They're they're trying to erase Native American history with that one. Hey, bro, they said they they replaced the Native Native Americans back then that were Africans with the Native Americans that we think they are now and just covered everything up. Like, the Native Americans was with the the English folk. You telling me that (laughs) that Christopher Columbus, who thought that he discovered a grand new country continent, was smart enough to pull off a grand switcheroo (laughs) and... Dumbo, ain't no way that 
doof was doing all that, bro. <laughs> so ain't no way, bro. That's funny. I was he like, got lost. He didn't even come. He came here by accident. They tell me he doing a switcheroo. Man, erase erase Columbus Day. I'm happy. I'm happy it's Indigenous Peoples Day now. Facts, facts. Columbus Pack. Hey, but, hey, smoking on it. Roll it up. <laughs> all right. But uh, R.I.P. to the Queen. <laughs> hey, bro. Long. Oh, God, damn. I can't even say long live the Queen. <laughs> I can't even say that. Next shit. topic. All right. So, would you rather every thought you have come true, or a random person comes and gives you a million dollars, but you don't know where that money came random. from? Random. <laughs> that money could come from the. Do you know how many times I have <laughs> random thoughts about me dying? <laughs> That's a fact. I ain't gonna lie. Like you ever had that thought when you drive and it's just like, what if I just turn this wheel like bro, slightly to the left bro. and just like flip? I have heights. What if I fall? You're falling. What if I? Uh, <laughs> what if this animal comes out? What if a bear comes? What would I do if wolves just randomly appear? Well, I got some sick thoughts. I what would I, bro, what would I do if I? What would happen if a zombie apocalypse? That conversation <laughs> would immediately become real. Like. <laughs> We just had a whole conversation where we thought about natural disasters. We'd be a pack instantly, bro. Ain't bro, no I don't way. think I would survive like less than a minute, bro. <laughs> I'm gone within ten seconds because my mind goes to all the good. What about all the bad that could happen? Nah, Damn. facts. The, bro. Earth, the earth will be packed up if my thoughts came true. <laughs> what? Like those, like those thoughts were like, I, like say I'm eating, I'm cooking food. I'm like, yo, what if I just put my hand here, bro? Like, how would it feel? Bro. Like, is this really that hot? Like, yo, deep, bro. In my, like, that's some sick so shit, deep, bro. Like, our bro. minds is really nuts. Yeah, because like, all the stuff we consume, all the entertainment, all the X, Y, Z that we consume. We oh sick, my god, sick in the mind. But you would still do like, a, like that million dollars could have been stolen. Don't could've, care. Don't care. <laughs> could have been from the mafia. Mafia after you now. Yeah, they never said that. I have to keep it. <laughs> hey, you what, what, what's the mafia gonna do if they uh, if, bro? I'll just I'll just keep it. I wouldn't spend it. I store it just in case somebody knocks on the door. Hey, uh, some random girl told you, you gave my money. I'm like, All right, cool. Here you go. You gave, <laughs> this person X Y Z gave it to me, and uh, have a nice day. Not a single dollar missing from there. <laughs> and if they lie and say they did, all right. Somebody's not gonna come for the money if it's not stolen, or somebody, some one person's not gonna come for it. I'll just add to what they said is there. All right, on your way. I've never seen any. I've never seen people get stuff, get their money stolen in any type of media I consume, and then they come for it. It's always they come for it back, mm -hmm. and it's gone, and that's the issue. I've never seen. Hey, we got it all right here immediately without. They don't have to say, "Oh, I have it back to you in seven days." Just immediately, hey, I need my money. Here you go. Here you I've go. never seen there been a problem. Hey, bro. I, I I just can't, bro. My thoughts came to life, bro. Just Indeed. just right now, we would have died. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> like you idiot. Poop dead. All of us. Sometimes my thoughts be coming true. I I can't talk about it on the podcast. I feel yeah. bad. Some shit happened. <laughs> I'm whoa. <laughs> Some shit happened. Not gonna lie. Free free gang, bro. Yeah. But but, <sighs> but like yo, our minds is really like a crazy thing, bro. It like, was a minute ago that I was thinking about like uh, a couple months ago. I was like, yo, I just randomly went on YouTube. Like, what would be the protocol if the queen dies? And immediate, bro, immediately as they, uh, cause they, uh, the, they said, yeah, the presenters, the main presenters for, uh, BBC, the biggest, uh, platform in UK, mm -hmm. the main presenter, cause he does not on every day and he's not on in the middle of the day. Usually mm -hmm. he'd come on, come to the studio and then people would just switch into black, bro. I was reading, following, I was at home real time watching the news. They said her health, blah, blah, blah. And all the kids are rushing there. I'm like, the kids are rushing there. All right. And then. The main presenter for BBC came and I said, okay, <laughs> was wearing black. I said, she's done. I'm like, bro, she's gone. Wow. She's gone. And then all the other president presenters slowly switched into black clothing. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, it's deep. Like, oh, my God. There's a huge protocol they go through and all this XYZ. And, yeah, I as soon as I seen that uh, that that ha start happening in real time, I said, like, yo, she's, she might be already gone. Damn. Or they might, be, just they might, just have, they might have confirmation that she's gone already. I'm like. Or that she's confirmation that she's about to go. I'm like, dang, mm. nigga just predicted that shit. No, 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 don't put that on me. Hey, bro, no, don't put that on me. For I, me, I, I be, go to London. Like you, like do you ever like think of like situations like yo, like how am I gonna get out that situation? Like All say, the time. That's like why say, my thoughts can't come true. <laughs> no, like like say some shit like this. Like uh, say like mm -hmm. in a you're in a room or some shit. It's like, what if all these niggas just turn on me? Oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> like I'm like I'm ready to go. Like, Main character it. syndrome. <laughs> Heavy. I'm like yo, what if a tiger? One of my usual ones, like what if a tiger or a lion or a bear just stormed into this room and I had to save everybody? And I gotta fight them alone. <laughs> Who's walking out of this building, me or the tiger? Mom? I said I'm gonna have to find a way for it to be me. You know how many times I've had thoughts of me just having to 
bash a wild murderous animal's head in with like a, <laughs> with a school desk and survive, just to survive and save everybody. Sick, sick shit. I don't know what it is, bro. Like about human nature and human minds. Like we just really maybe that's just like our animal instincts type shit. I'm telling you that the animals be like, yo, I, I promise you the lion be like, yo. What if a human tried me just now? I'm like, so like, I'm saying, bro, I gotta, I'd be having the thought. Obviously, I wouldn't do this. Obviously, Peter, I would not harm animals. But uh, I'm just saying, if this, if I had, if it had to be me, or, me, or, me or them, and it's I had got, to save everybody, it's gotta be me. How am bro. I gonna make it me? How, I, it's gonna be me. But how is it gonna happen? I'm like, all right, because like you know when they say like your your uh, your um your hair stands up, yeah. or like you feel that behind that, you know that's like technically like your animal instincts type shit. That, that, that when you see shit on the response. side, like from the side, like your peripherals or something. Yeah. Like, like, we're still, at the end of the day, we still got a little animal, like nature to us. I'm telling you. And like, there was a, a study, like an experiment done in Italy. It was a woman, right? So she, I think her name was, um, what was her name? Her name was freaking like Maria or some shit. Yeah, her name was Maria. So it was in Italy and she did an experiment on human nature. So what she did was she injected herself with like some drowsy medicine. So over time she'll get like like tired and like... Not unresponsive, but like she'll just be loopy a little bit. So she w- she put herself in the booth, and right next to her she had a she had lip gloss, flowers, and a knife, right? And f- she said for six hours, the people in the room, people walking by, you guys could do anything to me for the next six hours, and I won't do nothing. So the first, so the first couple hours went by, like first, like in the beginning, like people was just like, okay, they would put like makeup on her, give her flowers, do 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 normal shit. But then, as they started realizing she was getting, like, sleepy and, like, starting to, like, get drowsy and shit, they started doing, like, crazy shit. Like, niggas started cutting her skin. Niggas started cutting her clothes off, cutting her hair, doing max shit. And then one guy actually pulled up, like, was trying to be funny, pulled a gun out on her. And they had to stop the whole experiment. And the whole experiment was to show how us as human natures, we could go, we have two sides of ourselves. And it's not, it's, like, good and bad. And it's not because... Like we're bad people, but it's just like the curiosity. Like, oh, you can't stop me from doing it. Let me try doing it anyways. Kind of shit, type bro. shit. I don't. I know. see some. I'm like, all right, see ya. Like, <laughs> if I if I have to do something, I'm like, I'll just put the lip gloss in her pocket. I guess I'm like, yeah. all right. Nah. But there's some niggas in this world. That's oh yeah, no, no, sick. no, we know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like you, like for it's sure. like it's like saying like you know how, like like those like when we was kids, niggas used to freaking um like flood ant hills. But like we don't really care, and I'm but like, that's really some sick do? shit. I was racing bikes, and y'all were trying to kill little little insects, bro. That's what I'm what's saying? wrong with like, you, bro? Like you, like to us, that's like like, like it's fun. But to them, yeah. that's really like a natural disaster. Oh yeah, there, there are earmarks of there are uh, not earmarks. There are, oh, a better word, but there are like little signs. I don't know if it might be earmarks. There are little uh little things. They're like yo, if you like have if, as a kid, like oh yeah. might, you might be like, like a you might grow up to be like a. They're like, yo, abusing of uh, animals or mm-hmm. just having some type of intent for cause harm to other living things. Like, that's one of the things. And, like, I, cause I've never had. Now, playing with fire. You feel me? <laughs> they might have got me. I might have been lighting pieces of fire and lighting pieces of grass on fire. Yeah, they I got mean, me. But I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. I used to, I used to drown the ant hills. I used to, I used to be one. I used to be one niggas with the hose. I hear you, no problem. But it's like, but it's like, imagine if you, oh, oh, move up a little bit just in case, like you can't see. No, 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 I'm just moving away from me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, like just, Im- like just imagine, like them things could, like you could hear, like hear them, like they scream type shit. Like imagine they like humans, niggas wouldn't do that shit. But just since they animals and smaller than us, niggas think they can take advantage and do evil shit. Was it Horton here to who? Where he was hearing the little, little thing? Yeah, Bro, it was Horton here. Like imagine Horton. you hearing everything. And you're like, yo, like. You about you accidentally step on an ant. You die. oh my god! <laughs> you just hear it, Dad, my family. You're just like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like this is bad. You just hear like you just hear hella scream like ah, like the like the little lantern flies, bro. Nah, I know nah, they deserve it. I'm like, I right, good. <laughs> <laughs> like ah, packed up. <laughs> but but like like what is like like you a psychology guy? Yeah. Like why do you think niggas do shit like that? Like you think it's just like second nature? That is just like niggas got like evil sides to them, maybe just a little bit. I feel like there's a bit more of environment and how you're raised, well, a bit of your environment, how you're raised, and like just what type of, I think pretty much boils down to what type of attachment you have, like what kind of, how you're nurtured as a kid, how you're brought up, XYZ. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's certain risk factors and there weren't for certain things that could make you, <clears throat> there might be some type of, I don't know, genetic predispositions for like, to a little to an nth degree, to a small degree. Yeah. But, like, I also feel like a lot of it's how you were raised and, like, how you're able to, like, 
Like, if you're a baby, how much your parents care for you, how much they attend to you while you're crying, how much they feed you, how much, like, all that stuff, I feel like that comes into helping you X, Y, Z, and then how you, you're you taught to, like, express your emotions, yeah. how what outlets you have to express your emotions, being taught that some of these thoughts are, like, intrusive or destructive, but they're okay as long as you don't act on them. Yeah. You're still a good per- I feel like all that stuff shapes you into, like, all right, he could have became this, but he became this instead. So like, you think it's more experience <clears throat> rather than like genetically based? I, yeah, more 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 nurture versus, than nature. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that too. I feel like, like I think I was talking to UJ about this before. It's like I feel because he was saying like is a it was a, a person's aggression based off of their genetics or based off how they were raised. Yeah. There's. I'd say that it's like probably like eighty percent, eighty percent how they're raised. Maybe like seventy eh, percent how they're raised. Like thirty percent what they have because there's some. Emo- ways that you express your emotions, emotions or some like I said genetic predispositions you have like hey your father or your mother had some they were like just angry or they had a blah blah, blah. they mm-hmm. they were um a bit short fused you might have be predisposed to be short fused but if you have that and they raise you a better way and they don't show you that and they're like hey this is a healthy way I feel like you can Get break out yeah, of that. Break out of that. I think so too. Like even like, do you think like anger management could be like taught? For sure. For sure, right? I think so too. And it's not even really the management of the anger. It's just anger response, because you don't have to really manage the anger. It's normal to feel anger. You should feel anger. You shouldn't suppress it because that's how you go crazy. Yeah. They're just gonna teach you how to like. This is how you can express it healthy. There's healthy mediums to express your anger, mm-hmm. and then this is how you can sit with your anger and fully like comprehend it and say this is how I feel this is why I feel this way this is how I can avoid or I can tell people to avoid making me feel this way so I can be not angry yeah. and then this, if they do anyway this is how I can build boundaries and this is how I can express that anger healthy Got in you. a healthy way and XYZ yeah that's tough that's tough Dang, shout out Dr. Tom, bro. Hey, I'm here. Like I said, if y'all got mental problems, hit us up at No Regulars, but we got the people for you, man. <laughs> I'll give you advice that I'm not legally <laughs> obliged to give I'm out. I'm not legally. I'm also not I'm not licensed. I'm not I'm not my my doctor yet, but I'll, I'll give you suggestions. I'll give you advice. I can do what I can. <laughs> hey, bro. But I I'm got here to talk to. I'm a person to talk to. Yes, sir. Yes, I have sir. a shoulder to lean on. Yes, sir. Of course. Yes, but sir. The last thing I want to do is since we got drinks in our hands, it's called we're going to do a draft, but with beverages. Okay. So basically how it is, we got five rounds. We're going to intertwine. So I go first or you go first. I go the shit like that. And whoever makes the best top five of beverages, you guys get to pick. Like we're going to have top five beverages like our drafts and you guys get to pick which one would you rather drink for the rest of your life. Before lives, we begin, fives. I want to say this into the mic clearly to the entire world. <laughs> I don't care what you drink. I don't care who you love. I don't care what you identify as. I don't care who you worship or don't. I don't care what group makes you special, whatever you fall into. It's fine. We're all humans. We, we should love each other. Human experience. Great. If you drink Dr. Pepper, <laughs> you are not a human to me. <laughs> you deserve nothing. And neither does your taste buds or your families. You're disgusting, you're gross, you're the scum of the earth, and you need to stop. Check yourself into a rehabilitation facility immediately. There's no way you see everyone drinking Sprite, water, Coke. Yo, hey, Paige the doctor. You're weird. You're <laughs> awful. You're a scourge. You annoy everyone around you. <laughs> nah, Dr. Pepper is gross. You're disgusting. Grow the hell up. <laughs> All right. We can right. go. So you can pick first, brother. You get first pick. Dr. Pepper. Let me <laughs> imagine. First drink I got. Uh, first drink. Oh, wait. Any drink? Any drink in the Boy, world. I'm taking water. What you mean? Damn, that's a good, water. Water. Ah, good pick. I'll take a water. Ah, good picks. Good picks. Good water. picks. Ah. So for my first round draft pick, I think I'm going to go. I, I think I got. I'm going to go with Sprite. I think Sprite is very versatile, bro. Oh, solid one out of the I think that's very versatile. Okay. Okay. This one, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Water. I'm going to go cranberry juice. Cranberry juice, second round? I love me some cran. The cran apple? 
Cran apple hits. If you had the cran apple, that hits, bro. Cranberry juice hits. Nigga, you could have waited till the fifth round for cranberry juice. You wouldn't take a cran anyway. Cran, yeah, I need to get out the way. Cran is I'm taking orange juice. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. Orange juice and Sprite top two picks already. Yo, we lit. Yeah, I already know who All about right, the- cool. I'm taking apple juice. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> chill, chill. Apple juice, all right. Apple juice, not bad. Orange juice, though. Respectfully, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't do don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Hell no. Orange juice got pulp. What that mean? I would you nah? Nasty. You crazy? <laughs> it's like that's like apple juice with seeds. <laughs> you crazy? Yeah, freak. If you I drink t- orange juice with help pulp, unless there's like some unknown health benefits. I don't know. If you drink orange juice with pulp, same boat as the Dr Pepper people. You are freak. <laughs> nah, that's gross. I ain't gonna lie. You just like chewing juice. Go, uh, I'm a I'm a go I'm a go with lemonade. Third round pick lemonade. Damn, you frying me. I'm lemonade actually going. Cra- I'm going crazy. I'm going lemonade crazy. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Any drink. Okay, 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 okay. And it's any drink. Any drink, bro. Any beverage. <laughs> what you got so far? You got you got water, I got cranberry, water. Juice, I got cranberry and juice, and apple juice. Yeah, apple juice. Who is this guy? I'm going to go fourth drink. I'm going to go unconventional. I'm going to go red wine. Red wine? Oh, you fancy. I'm going to go red wine. All right. That, that's, not, that's not bad. I'm going to go red wine. That's not bad. Red wine. I think I'm going to go. I got Sprite. I got. You got Sprite. I'm going to go ginger juice. ale. I'm, ginger ale crossed my mind. I'm like. Ginger ale is great. Ginger ale is amazing. If you don't like ginger ale, you're weird. Yeah, you're odd. Ginger ale, ginger ale helps your stomach. They Bro, got a bunch what? of flavors to it. What? It's basically just like a, a little tastier Sprite. Bro, at work, every single morning we, when I first started, I would just go there, go into the little fridge. Grab like oh, I have two ginger ales to stay awake during the day. I was killing ginger ale. They, they were making jokes like, "Oh, you go grab a ginger ale?" Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, grab him a ginger ale. Start off amazing. Love ginger ale. That's tough. All right, my last pick. My last pick. I ain't gonna lie. Only water and red wine are saving you right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Last pick, huh? Last pick. Last pick. What am I thinking? Did anybody say coke yet? What? Are I? Nope. Uh, last pick out of any drink, any drink, and I'm going last pick here. Gatorade. Oh, solid picks. That's a good Gatorade. pick. That's a very sneaky pick. That's like a. That's like a. He he just dropped. I'm telling you. He just dropped out like the top ten times. You almost all right. Gatorade. Ah, damn. That's a good one. I like that. I had to match the lemonade. I had to match. I like that one. I still take lemonade over uh, Gatorade. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with. I have Sprite, orange juice, lemonade. What's the fourth one? Ginger ale. ale. I need something versatile. I need something versatile. <sighs> milkshakes. Milkshakes. Nah, I can't say milkshakes. That's like that's a too broad of a term. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go iced tea. You fried me. <laughs> yeah, you y'all already me. know who already won this me. shit. You cooked me. You cooked me. <laughs> I, I should have every... took iced tea over cray and then I would have had you. But iced you cooked tea, me. bro. You cooked iced me. tea. You cooked me. Lemonade, iced tea is nuts. The lemonade, iced tea combo. Yeah, lemonade and iced tea is crazy on the same list. Hey, bro. And you know they got orange juice simps out there, so whatever. <laughs> hey, let us know which 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 list y'all like. Comment down below. And thank you again for pulling up, my brother. I know you got to get going. Anytime, you know what I'm my nah, But shout out to y'all for tuning in to another episode of No Regrets Podcast, episode number 54. And if you haven't already, follow all the socials down below. Follow my boy down below. We got all our links down below in the description. Yes, sir. Join Discord. Uh, come subscribe. Argue with me. Yeah, go come argue with Tom. There's about like 50 people in the Discord now. He's a yeah. little jumping. Yeah, it's a good amount. It's a little Some jumping. Fools thought that they were going, I was going back down. You're crazy, boy. <laughs> hey. If you can out argue me, I'll give it to you. Cause hey. I'm a rough motherfucker to argue with. Yeah, Cause bro. I don't, I'm never wrong. You got him, you got UJ, you got Corey and that bitch. Strong talk to headed the, talk, Come Africans talk to the guys, bro. And strong headed Africans and Corey. <laughs> Corey might be African. We don't know what he is. No, he not. <laughs> <laughs> you no, he ain't. You he he African, but he not African. He <laughs> African. Corey <laughs> African. Corey African. You gonna give him his African name on camera? My name is Ifa Tunde. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I call, I'll give him, I'll give him. Olua F for F tier. Olua F. <laughs> Babanla F, Mr. F. <laughs> uh, subscribe to the um 
to the noregs.com subscription if you want new for new drops coming in coming in for collections all that shit and sponsorship coming soon so you gotta have to use code no regulars if you really fuck me and you're gonna fuck with this product you know what i'm saying shout out to them we're gonna talk about it next podcast um yeah subscribe to the channel if you new. All that good shit. And you got anything else you want to say? I got to wake Jay up. Uh, Let's see she wakes up. Fake yeah. music coming out. Jay. Music might be coming out. Ah, music coming out soon. Why not? I'll do music it Music coming y'all. out soon? I'll do it for y'all. And then, uh, I don't know. I, uh, Jay. Brush your teeth. Brush your tongues. Brush your tongues? Yeah. I need to get You got a tongue scraper? I need to get one. I need to get I one need to get too, one. bro. And then uh, make sure you get that little, I forgot what it is, but it's a little machine that helps you clear out your ears. Do not stick. Um, Q-tips Two Q-tips in your ear Is bad for you And just blocks up the earwax And uh, get a machine Or get something to fix it Brush your teeth Obviously And um, wash your legs Do that Yeah Wash your legs Deodorant Yes Use deodorant No none of that Oh I'm going natural No bro Ew People do that What is this The the, What is They they, they Europeans (laughs) They European They French (laughs) They French bro Hey, bro, y'all nasty. You don't do that shit right here, bro. We clean. I'm telling you, man. The cleanest man. people in the world. I'm telling you, you got to... Yeah, and drink water. Please. Don't forget to drink water, please. His first pick. I'm and then it went you. downhill after that. Nigga was like the... <laughs> nigga was the Cavs. We get... And we get <laughs> water's my LeBron. <laughs> and then, get, yeah, Anthony Bennett. And all, ah, Andrew Wiggins. Andrew, all the Andrew Wiggins, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. Drink out water, people. Clean your hair. Brush your teeth. Brush your tongue. Yes, sir. Jay's asleep. Jay. And stay a regular. Stay a regular. We know regulars, nigga. No, I said irregular. Oh, irregular. Yes. I got a picture of me next to a sign that says irregular. That's fire. With the no regular shirt That's on. That's fire. <laughs> Cop y'all shirts next coming up. Is Jay still asleep? Jay. All right, Jay. Jay. Good brother. I can't. We, uh, we Dang. cut. <laughs> Cut. Yo, Jay. 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 Yo. <laughs> I think she's out. She really knocked out. Jay. I can't. I don't got nothing to throw. Don't, don't, hurt, don't hurt her. Just get. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Uh, dang. Uh, what can. Niggas do. I mean, <laughs> throw the gum wrapper and just, just you gotta get like you gotta get, like for it. So just wait. Uh, damn, <laughs> that shit hit right in the ankle. <laughs> J- damn. Jay, Jay, damn. <laughs> oh, she gonna be uh, we we still stuck out here, people. Yeah, I'm, uh, cause Jay Jay kind of sleep right yeah, now. Te- uh, technical difficulties. Don't worry. We uh. Uh, I think I could just let me see if I could just turn off. We different than regular, no regulars, man. Gangster. I'm gonna run and go get it. I'm gonna run and go get it. I'm gonna run and go get it. I'm gonna run and go get it.